All right, my ladies, welcome back. And in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over some various buttons and options. And before we begin, let's go ahead and get a little sidetracked. I actually tried to figure out how to use LinkedIn today. I opened my account like, I don't know, maybe a year ago or something. And the first time I logged in, I was like, what the heck is this? I have no idea how to do anything. So I basically just uploaded a picture and did nothing. But today I actually tried to figure it out and like I, I don't know, changed some settings and stuff. So uh, yeah, if you guys got one, connect with me or add me, uh, follow me, whatever it's called. I don't know. All right. I clearly don't know how to use it yet, but go ahead and, you know, add me and I'll figure it out. So back to this video. The first thing I want you guys to do is just go ahead in any repo and click any single file. And that is because whenever you are looking at one file, I want to cover these buttons right here, raw, blame, and history. And a lot of people never even click these or just glance over them, and they're actually pretty important. So the first one is this raw. So whenever you click this, it gives you basically a raw view of the file without any text formatting. Now the reason that this is actually handy is because if you guys were ever working with some IDE like this, sometimes whenever you copy code like this, what's actually happening is it's not just copying the text, but if you inspect this, it's copying all the HTML as well. So whenever you are copying code from GitHub and pasting it into you know one of your projects, then always copy the raw and then you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Now, another thing I wanna mention is if you guys ever make like these cool bots or programs to download, I don't know, maybe a shell script or something from here, make sure that you are downloading it from this URL and not this one. So the reason is the same. So if you try to download it from here, then it's gonna get all the HTML and try to like execute that program. So again, raw is what you want. All right, moving on. The next button is blame. So blame is a cool way that you can look at each line in a file and see who edited each line. So this was a little script that I was working on and I didn't add any comments because I was just kind of lazy. So another guy, he went through and he actually added comments above each of these methods. So that's why you see that, all right, I have my commits right here, but then whatever he added, it has his little icon and it said he did this five days ago. And it's just a cool way, I don't know, if you find like a bug in a file that a lot of people were working on, you know who to fire. So, so there you go, there's that. And the last one I wanna to talk to you guys about right now is history. So history, pretty obvious what it is. It shows all the commits and changes for this one file. So again, this is the history for one file and don't confuse it with your commits, which is basically the history for the entire project or any of the files. So there's that now. Now that we got those options taken care of, let's go ahead and click back on any repo. So those were for a single file, but we also have these buttons for your entire project or repository. So this is gonna say watch or unwatch. I'm watching this right now, so that's why it says that. Star or unstar and fork. Now actually, let me go ahead and, uh, let me find one of my friends instead of my own because that's where we're gonna be seeing most of the time. All right, what do we got here? All right, so this is what you're usually gonna see whenever you're just browsing around GitHub looking for projects. It's gonna say watch by default because you probably aren't gonna be watching it. So what this means is basically if you click this and hit watching, it means that you're basically like following this project. So that means whenever you click this icon and it takes you back to, I don't even know what this is called, your stream, your homepage, whatever, you're gonna get notifications whenever a change is made to that project. So again, watch is basically saying, follow this, give me updates whenever something changes on it. And another thing is you can actually change your notifications to get them just in your GitHub stream whenever you go to this. You can also have notifications sent to your email and you can either have notifications, turn them all off or turn both of those on and you can take care of those in your settings, but cover all those settings later. Now, another thing is star. 
So a lot of people confuse watch and star. Star is basically just like saving something or bookmarking it. So I can go ahead and say, I'm gonna star this. And then if I go back to my GitHub profile, you can see all of the repositories or project I have starred or saved. They're basically the same thing. So if you find something cool, but you don't wanna have a notification every single time, then you can go ahead and just bookmark it. And there you go. So again, watching it is get notifications about it. And star basically means bookmark it or save it. Now fork, we already kind of talked about what that means. What this means is make a new branch or copy of this project. So we'll say that, what is this even? A collection of his configuration files. I don't know why he uploaded this. <laughs> but uh, let's say that I wanted all of these configuration files too. Maybe I wanted to change something on them. Well, if you look at my GitHub page, in my repositories, I don't have any of those yet. So here are all my repositories. I don't have a copy of that. But what I can do is if I want a copy, I can just go ahead and press fork. And I don't know if you guys, I don't know if that text is going off the screen. It says fork your own copy. In other words, it means make your own copy. Now, since I have an organization, it's gonna say, do you wanna put it on your organization or just your personal account? So I'm just gonna click mine. It's gonna say, all right, give us a few seconds to copy all those files for you. And uh, yeah, there you go. So now if I go back to my profile, in my repositories, I can see right here, config files. So again, this, as you can tell by the URL, is a copy of my configuration files. So this is the copy that I can actually, you know, edit the files to, um, make a bunch of changes, maybe fix some bugs, whatever I wanna do. And also, if I ever want to like improve that project and I wanna submit it back to my friends project, I can just go ahead and make whatever changes and hit new pull request. So that's the basics of how you work with other people's projects and not just make branches on your own. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you for this tutorial. I am probably gonna go ahead and try to figure out LinkedIn some more. Man, I got some pending invitations here. Nice. All right. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.